one thing I want to point out here, hopefully I'm recording. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is that these are cut from different leather. And that usually makes the transformation of different things. And the reason why I always make, you guys don't see it. I usually don't show it. But every time I make something, I usually make two of them. Because I usually, and, uh, I'm not perfect. Never have been. And uh, as as much as an expert you guys might think I am, I am I always screw one of these things up. And so I, I always do two. So this, everything's got its imperfections. And I wanted to point that out. Like with this one, there's nothing wrong with it. Everything, the, the rivets are perfectly fine. Same with this. Absolutely nothing. When that dries, it's going to lighten up a little bit. It'll kind of be like this one. Um, uh, you could tell they're cut from different leather. Uh, this one is a little oblong here. It wasn't cut perfectly. Uh, it does have a burn on the inside here. It's, it's messed up a little bit. I had nothing to do with my project. I just went ahead and did that. Um, this rivet didn't get straight enough. It's kind of crooked. You won't notice it, but I do. Uh, this one, perfect straight rivet and no, no stains or anything on the back. See that, see that, see the differences here. Uh, when I was designing this, uh, it was a little bit too short. Now I'm going to have to straighten it up a little bit. It was a little bit too short. So all I did was add leather, uh, to the end of this and, I'm going to run a rivet straight through that sucker, uh, or a, a basically a snap straight through that sucker. Uh, this will end up being this belonging to this one. This was the backup replacement for any damages that might have come from me getting in a hurry or whatever. I get anxious too. People get anxious watching me, and I get anxious when I'm working. So I tend to start screwing things up. So this is the uh, dummy spare. The screw ups, and this is the one that is going to be intended for everyday use. Uh, but there will be two when I'm done. Uh, one just won't be as fancy as the other one. Uh, this one being the fancy one, this one being the extra and spare. Uh, so if anyone wants a spare, hit me up. <laughs> There'll always be a spare. All right, I gotta get finished. I always take everybody through the short end of the video and then I stop. <laughs> I ran into some complications I had to stop and uh, I noticed I didn't have any sheen and without sheen it won't look like this you get you see that nice texture and seeing these here I had to custom make these ferro rods those are zoom into that a little bit better yeah those are actually fat wood lighter wood light or not whatever you want to call it and I added a little steel broadhead to mine I did it slightly different same material same length this is Titan survival cord uh, yep put that in there and then I had to do the two ferro rods and I just went ahead and did two and I noticed you know the mistake I made here that was too short I extended it but this isn't the one that's going out. This is the one that's going out. So this is done the correct way. I didn't like the snap being on this side. And when I felt that, I was like, eh, they're probably not going to like that. So I did this one backwards, see, and it snaps on the other side. And some folks don't like that. I did uh, Chicago screws and rivets. So it is steel and steel. So they're not going to come, come apart. Uh, these are nickel. Nickel's cool. It's like a gun. It's called, it's like a gun metal. So that's like the gun metal. And then over here, I did the brass. I didn't. I, that's the first one that I did gun metal, and I was like, uh, I was like, I'm gonna save the gun metal for this one over here. So I ended up doing. See the differences? This one's got the screwed upness. <laughs> this one doesn't have any of the screw ups. Uh, so I had the. I, I always like having something I can start with. And as I make mistakes, I don't do it over here. So that's how this one's. These are solid. I am so freaking happy. I am really happy with how both of them turned out. Uh, I love them both. They're amazing. This one I have to say goodbye to. It's off uh, to another land. And But these are awesome. <laughs> they both look amazing. And uh, I couldn't be more thrilled about how they turned out. I was really happy that... I was just like, wow, this is really nice. I mean, down to the edging, 
and everything the stitching is great uh but yeah uh anyways i know sheen that's the key thing and nobody ever buys sheen because they're always fully stocked of sheen but if you want to change the look of your leather craft project this is more of what this is about than anything is uh, always have a backup uh, <laughs> always have plenty of snaps uh, <laughs> I ran out of snaps <laughs> I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> my cough uh, I ran out of snaps uh, for this project and uh, that uh, the, the a lot of these things I mean you kind of run out of uh, but that's just the way it is but sheen is key man it totally changes I mean look how bright that is has a nice reflection nice reflection in that it's very nice so yeah anyways all right i hope you guys enjoyed it god bless you guys take care